What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to another mini PC review. And this is the AK1 Plus. This mini PC includes a 12th gen Adler Lake N95 processor with speeds up to 3.4 gigahertz. And this N95 processor outperforms its predecessor, the N5105, by 30% in terms of performance. The AK1 Plus includes 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of SSD storage. And this mini PC is currently selling for $159. And this mini PC is not a gaming PC. However, with these specs, you could play some lower end PC games that do not require a dedicated GPU. But you need to be aware that the performance of these games will vary. And to be honest, these games may not play as well or look as well than if you played on a PC with a dedicated GPU. So the reality is the AK1 Plus is designed for business, home or office. And with the current specs, this could be a home server. Let's open the box and see what's inside. Looks like here we get the mini PC. All right. In terms of size, this mini PC is kind of large. And we'll do a comparison to another mini PC. And the bottom here should come off with these tabs. Yep, sure does. There we go. So it's a little thinner now, very nice. Let's take a look at the connections. First, we have the power button, and here we have three USB connections, two of which are USB 3.0. On the back is a power connection, another USB port, two HDMIs, and we have a LAN port and a headphone jack. This mini PC is very lightweight, so it's definitely made for travel. So what else do we get in the box? Power supply, HDMI, manual, and Looks to be a bracket of some sort. So the mini PC would mount to the back of the monitor using this bracket. It would attach right to here and then mount onto here. Pretty cool. And a few important specs to note about the AK1 Plus. First thing we have here is a one gig LAN port. And this mini PC does include dual band Wi-Fi for the 2.4 and the five gigahertz band. This PC has built in Intel UHD graphics, which ensures higher processing up to 1200 megahertz. And these share graphics work well for photo editing, creative work, and video playback. And this mini PC has a max resolution of 4096 by 2160 at 60 hertz, which means you could turn this into a home theater or connect to a projector while camping. It also includes Bluetooth 4.2. And good news, you can upgrade the storage on this mini PC. You can replace the M.2 SSD up to two terabytes. And you can also add a 2.5 SSD up to two terabytes. And good news for all you fellow nerds, the AK1 Plus supports Linux PXE, Wake On LAN, and Auto Power On. And once again, because of the size of the mini PC, it's great for travel. Throw this in the bag with a mouse and a keyboard, and you're ready to go. When you get to your hotel or Airbnb, use the HDMI cable to plug it in to a TV. So now we're gonna set this up and test it. So if you're gonna keep this PC at home, I recommend attaching this PC to the back of your monitor with this bracket. It's a pretty simple attachment, just two screws, and the AK1 Plus simply attaches to the bracket. And then after this, make all the connections. The power connection, the HDMI connection, keyboard, mouse, and attach an ethernet cable if you want wired internet. However, we're gonna set the mini PC as wireless. It's way more convenient. Once everything's plugged in, we can power it on and set it up. And a bit of good news, this mini PC includes Windows 11 Pro, pretty cool. And now we're gonna test the mini PC watching YouTube videos. And here's a couple of my videos. When it comes to testing and reviewing gaming chairs, my favorite is the ultra premium high-end variety. So when a company named Autoful asked me to review their premium gaming chair, I jumped at the chance. It's the season for the great outdoors. And this mini PC should work well for a home office PC, which means you can use Microsoft Word or even Excel or spreadsheets. You can also play some simple games on this PC, but nothing too extravagant. No CSGO and definitely no Fortnite or Rocket League. You can also turn this mini PC into a Plex Media server. Simply download the Plex Media software and start adding some movies to your hard drive. And of course for a media server, you'll have to add some more storage. So go ahead and add the two terabyte SSD and you're all good. For a mini PC that's under $160, this PC can do everything except high-end gaming. And with the two HDMI ports, you can run multiple screens. So whether you're gonna be traveling or staying home, this mini PC has got you covered. It's a great price for a low spec mini PC. And of course, all product links will be listed in the description below. And with that guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon.
Peace.